Hey everybody, I uh, did some videos when I had my uh, lumbar stabilization extra, um, surgery, and so I thought I'd maybe start a video blog for my upcoming surgery here too. I um, This is Tuesday, April 14th. Um, I've been diagnosed with a meningioma. It's in my brain on the in the occipital lobe on the left. I'll, um, I can put a picture of it up on Facebook, but there's been some bleeding around it, which has increased my pain quite a bit. Um, I started, I saw, so yesterday, I could back up a little bit, you know, I've been having increasing headaches and, um, worst headaches I've ever had in my entire life. I've had migraines before, but these are something, um, completely different, and just these kind of attacks of really strong pounding, horrid, just horrid pain. Anyway, so on April 4th, I went to the emergency room, and um, they gave me some meds to help with the pain. They did a CT scan, found a meningioma, and said I should follow up with my doc. So I um, did that on Monday um, of last week, and uh, he got me set up to see a neurologist. Um, so that occurred yesterday. I um, had an MRI really, really early in the morning, and then um, saw a neurologist at like 10 o'clock, and, you know, he said this is really concerning, it needs to come out. And he, kind of, he didn't say the word cancer, but he was lending, you know, his t topic of conversation along those lines. Um, had me get a, uh, just a plain chest x-ray, which was normal. Um, and then in the afternoon, he set me up to see a neurosurgeon which I did. Neurosurgeon, the picture's kind of interesting. It has a central, the tumor, he called it kind of a moon, and then there's a crescent, crescent dark area around it, which is the bleeding uh, that they can see on MRI. Um, and so he said that that bleeding could actually uh, be like a cushion between my brain and the tumor and make it easier to take out. He seemed to think it had been there for a long time, and um, he made no indications that he thought it was malignant um, but we won't know for sure if it's benign or malignant until after the surgery on Thursday so um, start me on steroids yesterday to help with swelling I'm just kind of feeling like crap today I thought I could do a few things I tried to make some soup and do a little laundry and kind of set me back so how you see me here is I'm, like, I'm kind of half seated half lying down on the couch and I have some pillows and blankets tucked around to sort of support my head because that seems to feel the best. Um, of course I'm nervous but I have a lot of people praying for me. Um, a lot of prayers during the MRI because of all that pounding and cracking and noises that the MRI machine makes um, and I really didn't have any of my pounding headache attack. Um, I did have a headache afterwards, but it wasn't this, like, out-of-control sort of thing. Um, and my husband was able to take off the day work and be with me yesterday, so that made a, um, you know, big impact. It was, of course, very, very helpful. I can't drive right now. I can't um, see very well. So everybody's head tumor, depending on where it is, of course, uh, you know, can affect their muscles or memory. It's affecting my eyesight quite a bit. Um, these glasses I'm wearing right now um, weigh probably one or two grams, and it like hurts to wear them. I'll probably be taking them off as soon as I'm done with this. But um, so so far, just kind of you know, got the steroids, trying to stay in the least amount of pain. I have another MRI tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. Kind of, to, from what I understand, put some placers on my head so I know exactly where the tumor is. And then surgery on Thursday. So I'll let you guys know more when I know more. Um, thanks for watching.